In this lesson, we're going to look at unit prefixes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand what these prefixes are, and what they're used for, and the list of prefixes that you're going to need to know about while you're studying physics. Now, to start off with, I usually, as I say, show you what the purpose of something is. And with unit prefixes, it's just simply a way of writing something smaller, so that you'll reduce the amount of confusion that you have. And you'll see that later on, when you start developing your scales for your graphs, it's important that you actually understand that these prefixes are important for simplifying the work. For example, if somebody tell you that they measured 7 million meters, you will have a little bit of a problem trying to conceptualize how much 7 million, or imagining for yourself how much 7 million represents. However, if they tell you that, say for example, the value is 7 megameters, you might say, okay, well, it's 7, and the megameters is just simply how much units we have after it. The unit prefixes seek to try and make it so that the value that we have to write out is much simpler than it actually is. And we do this by simply making it as a multiple of 10. And this notation here that you're seeing is called scientific notation, and we will get to that in or standard form, and we'll get to that in the next lesson. Right now, what I want you to understand is that what we are doing is we are taking this value here, this multiple of 10, 10 to the power of 6, and we are going to replace it by a symbol quantity, and this symbol quantity is a capital M, which represents mega. In this slide, you would see the list of all the values that you could possibly have for multiples and submultiples. Now, this list of values here are called multiples because the value that you're multiplying the 10 by, sorry, the index of the of the 10 is positive, and these are called submultiples because the index of the 10 is negative. Now, each one you can see that they have the same pattern. You start from 1, you go 2, you go 3, then you go 6, 9, and 12. And you have the submultiples following this exact same pattern except it is negative. Now, according to your indices, you should understand that this here could be written as 1 over 10 to the power of 1. Now, each one of these multiples have their own particular name. So, for example, here you would see one of the common ones, which is kilo, and one of the other common ones that you'll come across, which is centi. Now, when you have something, say, for example, centimeters, you are simply saying that we have a prefix here of 10 to the power of minus 2, and the unit of that we are measuring this is meters. So we say centimeters. So for something that says, for example, two centimeters, what we are really saying is two multiply by 10 to the minus two meters. And we know from our primary school work when we're converting between centimeters and meters that two centimeters is simply a value of 0 0.02 meters. And if you watch this here, you would see how you get that. Imagine if you take the two, write it back, and then you take the 10, and you simply write it as a positive index. Notice that you will have 1 over 10 to the power of 2, and it's now positive. This can be written as 2 divided by 100, which is 10 to the power of 2. All right? And this value here that you're seeing, 2 divided by 100, is the common way that we know about converting centimeters to meters. We divide by 100. This is the reason that we divide by 100. Now, it is sometimes very difficult to get familiar with these. And I suggest that you look at the indices that you're seeing there and try and understand. If you don't understand it, go back and do some indices from your math. All right? Get an idea of the rules of indices, how you multiply them, divide them, subtract them, add them, and so on, and whatever rules that they have associated with it. And you'll be able to understand that what we are simply doing is simply replacing a multiple of 10 by a symbol quantity which has a given name. So for instance, when we are looking at something like kilometers, we are simply saying, what we are doing is we are taking this power, 10 to the power of 3, and we're saying that whatever the value is, it is 10 to the power of 3 meters. We are simply breaking this up and putting in the value, or vice versa, we can go the other way. So if you have any questions or comments, you can send me a message or leave a comment with the video below. Thank you.